everyone, we're here with a bombing science product review. Today we're going to be testing out different marker pads and drawing media. So we have the Molotow basic marker pad to review, as well as the style file marker pad, which we'll be comparing. We also brought in our special bombing science black book to compare and contrast. We'll also be testing out a regular notebook. So we'll be drawing with the Potentate alcohol-based markers. We have a big range of colors here. We also brought a few of our special bombing science markers. So we've got some iron lac markers, grog pointers, Molotow graphics aqua ink, style file markers, Molotow acrylic paint markers, on the run Luxus liner, Iron Lack Permanent Marker. And I also brought my special drawing kit because you never know what you might need. Um, notably, this con includes. Um, oh, where is it? Yeah. Notably, this includes my special graphite pencil that I like to bring everywhere. So let's get started. All right, so we've got the style file marker pad here and we're gonna take a look. So one of the pages has come loose already, so I'm gonna have to see how the glue holds up. Um, but the paper feels nice and smooth, nice and clear surface to draw some uninterrupted lines with. But sometimes there's texture to the paper which makes the bleed uh, non-continuous and makes clean lines harder to get. Um, Alright, we've got the Molotow basic marker pad with 32 sheets. We're going to test it out. So the pages are thicker than with the style file one. And also has a slightly blue-gray tint to it. Um, which you can see compared with the white there. Um, it feels nice, it feels um, less likely to fold. And let's see what it's like to sketch on it. All right, so we've got the bombing sign sketchbook here. So this is your regular type of paper. It's not made specifically for markers, but you can use um, you can use any media you want without having to force yourself to only use markers. Um, but let's see for the time being how it compares with the other papers in terms of sketching with markers. So now we have just your regular run-of-the-mill um, notepads. So we're going to see how that fares compared to um, sketchbooks that are more geared towards drawing in. So let's see how this paper does. It's smooth, which is nice. Um, it's got a nice texture, but it's already very thin. So I feel like there's going to be just a lot of bleeding, especially when I'm filling in. So a lot of waste there and probably just less of a clean line but uh, only one way to find out. All right, so we've got four sketches here to compare. Um, there were significant differences in how the different materials worked out. So um, first of all, there's the color of the papers. So we've got sort of yellower paper with the bombing sign sketchbook, the uh, style file sketchbook is slightly yellow, whereas the Molotow one is a bit of a cooler gray. Um, so already just being able to understand what color you're getting uh, gives a big idea of how your sketches might look, depending on the aesthetic you like. Um, and then the I found the Molotow sketchbook very 
pleasant on the hand, very pleasant on the marker. The, the way the paper takes the ink is very satisfying, uh, but I found that it, it was harder to get colors to pop. It was as if they kept receding a little bit, whereas with the style file sketchbook, the, the color quality was quite good. Um, the problem with the style file, however, is that with the potentate sketch uh, markers that we had, the, the ink would go one into the other. So you would, let's say, we did the, the blue outline and then let it dry for a while, and then went in with the pink fill in and it, the blue from the initial outline went into the pink. Uh, this is fixed by using style file markers. We found that, um, for example, we used this base for the line here and um, found that the ink of the style file markers lends itself very well to the style file sketchbook. So that's really good to know if you're going to be getting the sketchbook is that these markers work particularly well with this paper. Another thing is just, yeah, the quality of the colors feels very strong. The colors on this paper um, are very vibrant. They don't recede as much as other papers. Um, I had a harder time with the Ballenstein sketchbook. I feel as though this is a paper which is um, more coarse and therefore lends itself better to more rough materials, let's say graphite or charcoal, uh, maybe even with paint markers. I didn't get to try those today, uh, but it might be a sketchbook better suited for um, rougher materials. Also, if you're someone who likes to do a lot of collage and you just want to have a hardcover book to bring around with you, this is maybe more the type of thing you would like because uh, these are pages that are sort of designed to come off so if you want to be able to carry it along with you it might not be the best bet. Um, I had a lot of fun with the notepad but as you can see it just you will be bleeding through your paper and another thing is just how much harder it is to get a good line quality. If you look at the line there's all these little bumps just from it getting caught and bleeding, which you don't get with the style file and Molotov sketchbook. And you get the same quality, line quality in the bottom side sketchbook. So really, I would say if you want to have less vibrant colors, I would go for the Molotov sketchbook. I also recommend this if you might already have a big marker collection and you don't want to have to get a whole lot of new style file markers. I would go for the Molotov. And then if you want more saturated, vibrant colors and don't already own a big marker collection, maybe go with the style file markers and the style file paper. And if you're interested in any of these products, you can get the Bombing Science Sketchbook, the Molotow marker pad, or the style file marker pad on our website. That's the wrap. I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.